All right, for the death zone, I'm going to spare you the toggling between two things. You already see how I do it. I go to the other one, I look at what scripts are attached, and then I bring that world back into here. So I did that already because I know that it gets kind of annoying to look at probably. If, if, if I was a person watching a video, that would be annoying. So here, I have my level attributes. I'm not saying that I might have to go back there just to reference something, but I know what scripts are already attached. So I'm going to do the attaching of the scripts first. So here's my level attributes. That goes on level attributes. And my death zone, well, that goes on death zone. Okay. Now, I see trigger. That's a, probably an important thing right here, trigger. Make sure your box collider is, has trigger involved on it somewhere. Okay, now let's look at the script before I go toggling back and forth. Okay, so what it's saying is, here's my box collider. Okay, let's hit play. Okay, hit my spawn point. I can walk forward. And I'm just running into a wall here. Oh, but I got teleported somewhere. Where did I get teleported to? Well, way in the middle of the map, it looks like. So let's hit play. Let's see what happens again. So it almost looks like it teleported me over here somewhere. Let's hit play again. Okay. okay. Stop that. And I'm going to take off use kinematic. All right. So now I'm diverging. So I don't know if it's schematic or not and what it's attached to the rigid body. So I need to go look at the rigid body and see how it interacts back in the other level. So I told you I might have to go back to actually reference this. Okay, so this rigid body I'm talking about is the actual death zone itself. What is it? It's kinematic, yep. It's a trigger, and it's got a size. I already got a size on mine. It's got a rigid body mass, angular drag. Has non-physical material attached to it. And my level attribute. It's got a 5 and a 10 for my collider thickness. And my center has zero, just like this one. Also, I'm going to make sure this is named conventionally. So this is death zone. All right, now, now that I have all that kind of memorized, well, I'm going to go back and open my project up and look for those attributes on my other thing. Okay, so here's side scroller. Here's my, so it is called death zone. It's got that. It's got a box collider on it, rigid body, and the death script. My size is one to one to one. It's got a center of zero. But did it have a rigid body? Yes. Because it had kinematic on it. Okay. So I'm going to put this near my character. Right about here. Oh. 
it works. <laughs> it, it does have some flaws, but it works. It looks like it's actually being attracted by the player. So I'm going to set this up a little bit further away. And the whole world is just shaking at this point. I remember this thing having a little bit of wonkiness behind it, this box. So I'm going to delete it. And what I'm paying attention to is over there in my hierarchy. See now it is moving around on me a little bit as I play along. Okay, so what is being done here? I have a box collider. And it's basically making the world go insane. It's sitting on top of the world. I don't know. I'm going to put it in the ground a little bit. Okay, it looks to me as when I enter the field, that's when wonkiness happens. So now, let's see what happens here. <laughs> awesome. What I'm looking for is this. It looks like this is being controlled by a script that allows my walk speed, my run speed, gravity, and everything else. But isn't that being already controlled by the first person walking script? <laughs> so I think there's two things interfering with each other. Uh, one, either walk and the gravity involved. Here's gravity. And here's also gravity. So there's probably a conflict of interest happening here. And sure enough, I'm, I'm walking a little bit slower now. And I can jump a little higher. But the world in the background is giving me a seizure at this point. Scripts are the hardest because you got to get those. Okay, so now I, I, by changing that, I can definitely see that I am getting full advantage of speed being handled by the performer's script. So what I'm going to do is debug this a little bit and bring it back into another video and show you what I did.